Holyoke Community College is celebrating Black History Month in February with events both on and off campus. This is the first year the college established a committee to plan its events, which organizers say are an extension of teachings in classrooms throughout the year. Carrie Saldo sat down with Black History Month committee members Leah Accolini and Monique Nelson to find out more. I think black history is American history and I feel like now more than ever it's really important to celebrate the contributions of blacks throughout history um, and to you know bring everyone together at HCC just to you know have some events that celebrates everything um, in black culture so excellent yeah. and as I understand it it's the first year that HCC has actually had this committee when you heard about it Leah did you think yes I, I want to participate absolutely yeah so I've been um, at HCC um, a little less than a year um, and part of my role as chief culture officer is trying to bring people together and make sure the campus is focusing our, on our values, so innovation, collaboration, kindness, inclusion, and trust. And so um, when thinking about how to be a more inclusive campus, the, the idea for these, um, these committees came up. And there have been um, events in the past for Black History Month, but this is really the first time there's been um, in a while that there's been a more concerted effort to really think about programming to make sure it's a, a robust programming throughout the entire month. Yeah, it is. It's a full month's yeah. worth yeah. of events. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, we'll go through a few, but I want to talk about one that's already gone past. It was a TED Talk, and I mentioned it because people can watch it online if they want to. It was screened on campus earlier this week, and it was called The Untapped Genius That Could Change Science for the better. And really, in the video, uh, there's this talk of, of intersections, the idea of intersections and how they uplift and enliven, sometimes um, challenge our lives even. What did you think when you, when you saw the video? What did you take away from it? Um, I thought it was a very important um, topic, to, especially in the context that she was discussing when it comes to science, um, because things are created differently or um, improved if you have different perspectives. So as a, a woman and as a black person, you know, your contributions are going to be very specific to your experiences. So I feel like it's it was a very enlightening and important talk to have. And you said you got to sit there for the screening, right? Did people talk about yeah. it afterward? Was there any reaction to the to the video? Yeah, so it, it was a, there was a lot of positive reaction. And Adrienne Smith, our interim dean of STEM at Holyoke Community College, she led a discussion afterwards about the importance of diversity in STEM, specifically about um, the importance of women of color in STEM as well. And then she spoke about her own experiences and what she, um, how she um, really got into mathematics, engineering, and the people who helped her find her passion for that along the way. So it was a really um, interesting discussion and that those, we had afterwards. And we talk about STEM on the program a lot, but for those who don't know, yeah. science, technology, engineering, math, yes, and, and both in areas that we know that women and people of color are in the minority in, in that field yes. in particular. Right. So right. To, it's still a heavily uh, male-dominated uh, space. Um, and so the TED Talk was focusing not only on the importance, but on the genius that women of color have brought to the STEM field. Um, mm -hmm. And so in the larger context of Black History Month, and really highlighting positive contributions um, that black people have you know, contributed to American society. It really tied it all together um, in, a, in a wonderful way. Yeah. yeah. Another event that's coming up on the 13th, uh, Smith College Museum of Art will kind of be opening its doors to HCC faculty and staff so that people can take a look at a, an exhibit there called Black Refractions, highlights from the Studio Museum in Harlem. And so why did the committee want to improve uh, offer that opportunity, you're, you're heading off campus to this art museum. Right. Um, I think it's important to partner with um, area institutions that are also having celebrations of black history. Um, and it's an opportunity for our students to, it's also faculty, staff, and students to be able to go off campus. And for our students especially who might be thinking of transferring to Smith, they can get that experience of being on that campus also mm. and experiencing the exhibit. Anything you'd like to add? Right, and it's important, um, Smith College has such a wonderful space in their Museum of Art um, that um, 
I just think it's a great way if we might not be able to have that exhibit, but we can certainly encourage our faculty, staff, and students to be able to attend. Um, and this partnership with Smith College has been really wonderful. Students can always get um, into the Smith College Museum of Art for free with a student ID, um, but they're also allowing faculty and staff um, with a college ID to get in for free for us as well. So they're really making it accessible and reaching out to us um, as well. A little later in the month, you'll be screening a Shirley Chisholm documentary with an amazing title, Unbought and Unbossed. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, she was the first black woman elected to Congress. She ran for president. She was unsuccessful, but she did run for president. And she also spoke at HCC, as I understand it, uh, in the 80s at a commencement address. So a really strong connection yeah. there to HCC. What was the committee thinking when it wanted to add this documentary to be screened? Well, once we found out that she did the commencement speech in 1984, um, it was kind of a no-brainer. It's like, what an awesome connection. Um, and I think a lot of what she spoke about in the documentary and um, what she struggled through at the time is still relevant today. Mm -hmm. um, and given that it's an election year, I feel like it's a, a really important opportunity to educate some of our students who may not have heard of Shirley Chisholm before to get this opportunity to learn some more about you know, someone who's not that, you know, popular in black history, you know, like you're Martin Luther King or Malcolm X. It's, you know, and she's a woman, which is, hey, girl power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it uh, something that, how did the committee find out that she had given the commencement address? Was it something that a few committee members knew or was it something you uncovered as you were looking at potential ideas to program? Um, if I remember correctly, I believe our marketing department, um, working with the library and the archives, um, we're, we're able to find that. And they've also found, you know, excerpts of her speech, um, some video and some pictures from the day as well. So we'll be tying that into the documentary screening as well. So it's really bringing light to the life of this amazing woman, but then also also highlighting her connection to Holyoke Community College. Yeah. yeah. At the, the outset of our chat, Monique, you mentioned, you know, black history is American history. And if we think about celebrating Black History Month or Women's History Month, I think you can kind of look at it in two different perspectives that it's sad that we have to separate this right. out in order to elevate and celebrate it. But then also it is an opportunity to elevate and celebrate. Where do you kind of fall on, on that, that issue? I think it would be amazing for us to come to a point where it's not necessarily to highlight these months to celebrate um, black heritage or you know women's history. Um, eventually, I would hope that it would just be a normal part of the school curriculum and everyone will be learning about black history. But I think for now, it's it's important to have that celebration and you know like there have been some awesome contributions by black folks in this country. So um, I think it's important and it's fun and. You know, we're going to have a food fest at the end of the month to close it all out. And, you know, um, the proceeds from that will go to uh, a financial award that we hope will be annual for a student who is a member of the Black Student Alliance. Yeah. And it is a $5 donation, as I understand it, right? Students can come and kind of chow down for free if, if they want, but you can also make that donation. So it would right. go so to just yeah. a donation. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, we want it to be as open and accessible to people as possible. So the way we designed it was that um, the food will be free at the event. So yeah. everyone can come, eat, learn, um, and participate um, and not have right. to pay money. But if they'd like to donate, it goes to this award for the Black Student Alliance.